<coughs> Intimate sector. Pa 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 Racing and the clothes and the equipment. Where is Jesus Christ's history? What is Jesus Christ? Where is Jesus Christ? Mind blowing, mind blowing. Intimate sector. Australian news, Australian news. Suck up like boop, boop, punch up. Kill that fuckers. <clears throat> I love you, YouTube. I love you, YouTube. Intimate sector, subscribe. <laughs> Yes, to behind the scenes in the Middle East now, where vital interactions are underway, which weren't enough, it transpires, to prevent more. But they, these are Indian. And they're saying, like, um, true, 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 God, 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 true, 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 true. It's war. Israel and Gaza, Palestinian. Genocide, genocide. God, 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 God. Um, international court. International Computer Network, International, Love You, Love You, Love You, Female, Army, Lawsuit, Who's Killing Who, What's Winning, Fuck Up. Tech negotiation, they are happy. I love you, I love you, YouTube, subscribe, Intermix Sector, I love you, YouTube, subscribe, Intermix Sector, I love you. Happening on, some, on one specific issue at the official level, it doesn't mean that talking about the future, especially future scenarios long term, cannot start at the unofficial level. And that's where it can only start at the unofficial level at this point. Um, so who would you say, are you prepared to say, do you think are the key intermediaries here who might be able to broker some breakthrough? I mean, you have to be exceptionally skilled, I would take it, to do so. I mean, intermediaries, we have seen the Qataris, uh, uh, foreign ministers, Qatari uh, uh, chief negotiators, uh, has been playing a key role because Qatar has established network with the Hamas leadership. So Russia, 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 America, America, history, genocide, genocide, international computer network, court, genocide. Of the Hamas external leadership are how I love you, I love you, intimate sector. Subscribe. Ma. In, in Doha, in Qatar. But also, Qatar has had a expensive, extensive experience. Go, return the go to Venezuela. Return the go to Venezuela. No more Illuminati, sell your soul to the devil. Why Israel get help? Why Israel. Error, 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 error. Fuck you with also the Israel. I love you, Intimate Sector, subscribe. Although they don't have diplomatic relations, but really they have, you know, de facto diplomatic relation between the two countries. And, and so that kind of intermediary who is trusted by both sides, who has access to the decision makers on both sides, and who has, does not have a particular agenda except in guaranteeing a, a, a positive must be war good nice whatever and the god in your body take over need wife need life god help come in my body take over god come in my body take over god come in my body take over i love you what is this all what what are we meant we cannot escape out of earth rockets rockets we we escape out of, we're not superman why are we fighting what's going on fuck up outcome you know, in I love you, God. I love you, God. Marriage. In this case, peace and ending the conflict. So this is a kind of, of intermediary you need. And that's why, you know, there is debate now in the United States whether the U.S., because of the blank check or embrace that President Biden made of, I mean, gave to uh, to the to Netanyahu, the prime, Israeli prime minister, and to Israel. There's no strings approach to Israel in this fight. There is a debate among 
some of us who work in this field, whether the U.S. can be, again, the indispensable mediator in this case. Like, for example, the U.S. was after the 1973 war. It was the indispensable mediator. Uh, it's, it's debated going forward whether the U.S. can play this role again, because, again, it has lost the trust of one side of the conflict. Mm, that was, and, that was and, Henry and, Kissinger, of course. Um, it was Henry Kissinger mm. at the time, because although at the time, you know, $2.2 billion, you know, were sent in terms of aid to Israel. A major airlift was sent from the United States to Israel. Yet Kissinger, throughout the phases of the war, was trying to reach out to both sides and trying to stay, you know, I mean, as, 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 as middle ground as possible. Mm. In this case, you know, President Biden, by attending the war cabinet meeting during his visit to Israel, basically is interpreted or is seen in the Arab world as having signed off on Israel ground offensive targeting the Palestinian, as having taken fully the side of Israel. And by not agreeing to a ceasefire, you know, in mm. the United Nations General uh, Security Council, when they, vo they were, you know, the country that voted down that resolution, again, is seen in the Arab countries and on the on the Arab side as being totally sided with Israel and not trusted as an as 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 an not an impartial but as a mediator who can look at both sides interests and try to come up with a solution that meets the basic necessary requirements that meets the interests of both sides I mean one of Qatar's lead negotiators Korea diplomat Abdullah al Salaiti uh, he helped broker the truce through marathon shuttle negotiations. Um, and he did acknowledge in a recent Reuters interview the uncertain odds of keeping the gun silent, so he was right. Correct. Is he the sort of person you're thinking about who might be able to? I think he is. Uh, the Egyptian, also military intelligence uh, guy on the Egyptian side, a part of war, especially future scenarios. Who might be able to broker the gun that's... Jerusalem. Each side is mourning their losses, and uh, the anger is still very raw on both sides. I mean, there are still Israeli hostages uh, that are in the hands in Gaza, and there are there is bombardment every day, killing Palestinian children taking place. You know, starting this morning. Uh, so, um, so I think it's hard to see a track to launched at this point, but. Very shortly down the line, there needs to be a track two. Officially, it's hard to think of that. But track two at least can get the ball rolling, can get this mm. started. And just thinking of alternative scenarios of how a political process can be launched between the two sides in order to break the cycle of violence that has been repeating itself over and over and over between Israelis and Palestinians. Yes, I don't suppose that rush hour attack in West Jerusalem would help what you're describing, you know, where Hamas has claimed responsibility to Israeli lives and to the two Palestinian brothers who opened fire, you know, during with commuters going to work. So that that's that's just again destroys hopes of, uh, by the sound of you, of um, trying to get to some form of stasis, you know, just where people get out of that expectation of violence. But 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 it's not the first time that people talk while. They are fighting. In fact, most of the negotiations that have eventually led to ending conflicts started in the midst of war. I mean, you are not going to wait for the guns to stop for you to start talking to the other side. I mean, there is now indirect negotiation taking place between Hamas and Israel over the fate of the hostages on the, Isra on the, on the Israeli side and the Palestinian prisoners on the Palestinian side. It's being mediated by Qatar, by Egypt, you know, but they, these are indirect negotiation and they are happening on some, on one specific issue at the official level. It doesn't mean that talking about the future, especially future scenarios long term, cannot start at the unofficial level. And that's where it can only start at the unofficial level at this point. Um, so who would you say, are you prepared to say, do you think are the key intermediaries here who might be able to broker some breakthrough? I mean, you have to be exceptionally skilled, I would take it, to do so. I mean, intermediaries, we have seen the Qataris, uh, uh, foreign ministers, the Qatari uh, uh, chief negotiators, uh, 
has been playing a key role because Qatar has established network with the Hamas leadership. Some of the Hamas external leadership are housed in, in Doha, in Qatar. But also Qatar has had a expensive, extensive experience with also the Israelis, although they don't have diplomatic relations. But really, they have, you know, de facto diplomatic relation between the two countries. And, and so that kind of intermediary who is trusted by both sides, who has access to the decision makers on both sides, and who has does not have a particular agenda except in guaranteeing a, a, a positive outcome, you know, in this case, peace and ending the conflict. So this is a kind of, of intermediary you need. And that's why, you know, there is debate now in the United States whether the U.S., because of the blank check or embrace that President Biden made of, I mean, gave to uh, to the to Netanyahu, the prime, Israeli Prime Minister, and to Israel, this no strings approach to Israel in this fight. There is a debate among some of us who work in this field whether the U.S. can be again the indispensable mediator in this case. Like, for example, the U.S. was after the 1973 war; it was the indispensable mediator. Uh, it's it's debated going forward whether the U.S. can play this role again because again it has lost the trust of one side of the conflict. Mm, that was, and, that was and, Henry and Kissinger, of course. Um, it was Henry Kissinger mm. at the time because although at the time. You know, two point two billion dollar, you know, were sent in terms of aid to Israel. A major airlift was sent from the United States to Israel. Yet Kissinger, throughout the phases of the war, was trying to reach out to both sides and trying to stay, you know, I mean, as 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 middle ground as possible. Mm. In this case, you know, President Biden, by attending the war cabinet meeting during his visit to Israel, basically is interpreted or is seen in the Arab world as having signed off on Israel ground offensive targeting the Palestinian, as having taken fully the side of Israel. And by not agreeing to a ceasefire, you know, in mm. the United Nations General uh, Security Council, when they vote, they were, you know, the country that voted down that resolution, again, is seen in the Arab countries and on the on the Arab side as being totally sided with Israel and not trusted as an as 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 an not an impartial but as a mediator who can look at both sides interest and try to come up with a solution that meets the basic necessary requirements that meets the interests of both sides I mean one of Qatar's lead negotiators Korea diplomat Abdullah al Salaiti uh, he helped broker the truce through marathon shuttle negotiations. Um, and he did acknowledge in a recent Reuters interview the uncertain odds of keeping the gun silent, so he was right. Correct. Is he the sort of person you're thinking about who might be able to? I think he is. Uh, the Egyptian, also military intelligence uh, guy on the Egyptian side who has been working with the Qataris. Remember, the Qataris have excellent relations with the external leadership of Hamas. The Egyptians have better relations with the internal leadership of Hamas. And right now, the way deals get stuck on hostage release is that there are negotiations that take place with the external leadership of Hamas, and then directions are, co and then communication happened via those people with the internal leadership of Hamas that makes eventually the final decision. And so you need somebody, basically you need a mediating team, somebody who has access to the Israelis, but also somebody who has access to the external leadership of Hamas and somebody who has access to the internal leadership of Hamas. Uh, now, I've only got about a minute and a half to go. Uh, I wonder what you think might be happening now or can you tell us what is what's the next hopeful move we could look to then to to, to to broker exactly what you're talking about i think what you are the best hope now is to and that's i think what the mediators are working toward is to put in place a series of successive short-term truces i don't think a permanent ceasefire in the is in the cards for a while given where the Israeli cabinet is in terms of prosecuting this war, but a series of short-term truces that can lead to the release of some hostages, not only women, but now they are talking about elderly men. They are talking about maybe men who were 
attending the rave, but who are not, you know, who are not military soldiers, Israeli military soldiers, and release of prisoners on the Palestinian side, not only women, but also some young men who are not convicted of crime. And so, and and, and during this time, enable assistance to enter Gaza, because right now okay. there is no humanitarian assistance entering Gaza. So this is the best hope, is to build, you know, small, to produce these short-term small. truces and then build confidence. We've got to go, unfortunately. That's exactly, essentially the... Pr- the, the way Kissinger approached it too in 73 from what I've heard. Look, thank you very much indeed for your thank time. You. Dr. Take Rhonda Slim. And the death toll is still expected to rise. Now, Iranian officials have blamed unspecified terrorists. So far, no one has taken responsibility for this attack. Although previously, militant groups like Islamic State have carried out (coughs) similar strikes um, and have killed people in Iran in similar ways. So although no one has taken responsibility, there's a lot of angst and anxiety given the escalating situation we're seeing across the entirety of the Middle East right now. And this is just adding to that fear of a wider regional war starting here. Alison Horn. Australia has joined the United States and 10 other countries to issue a joint statement calling for an immediate end to attacks by Houthi militants in the Red Sea. It says the Iranian-backed Houthis should also release unlawfully detained vessels and crews and warns they'll bear the responsibility of the consequences should they continue to threaten lives and the global economy. Reporter Nell Whitehead takes a look at the tensions in the Red Sea. When yet Oh, the kind too. Fucking you, fucking you, fucking you. YouTube, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube, YouTube. Thank you. War sign. Who kills who? Our economic, maybe that country. Oh, why don't we just play a fucking war? Let's start a war. Get the war. Fucking war. International court. War criminals. War, war. It's good, good, good. YouTube, love you. YouTube, love you. I need sex at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute says they have other aims. The Red Sea is a critical maritime region. The shipping lanes that go through there, I think, account for about 12% of global maritime shipping. So what we're seeing is Iran via the Houthis attempt to close off that shipping lane. The US responded by launching an international naval coalition, Operation Prosperity Guardian, to safeguard cargo passing through. To guard army body enter control our body to god army body enter to god army body enter control our body oh ho 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 phew superman i love you instead i'm into mix ecto youtube channel instead dr shaheen berenji is an assistant professor at the u subscribe like share and all that love you checks the coalition have attempted to repel those attacks. The two sides were drawn into direct confrontation on January the 1st when US helicopters repelled the attempted seizure of a Maersk ship, sinking three Houthi boats and killing 10 militants. Iran has since dispatched a naval destroyer to the Red Sea. Dr. Berenji says the risks of escalation are rising. This is bringing the United States into not just direct confrontation with Iranian proxies, which is something we've already been doing. But There was a war because they had more money, right? And the other side might say, oh, is they supporting Latin America? Boom, boom, boom. Wow, wow. You bombed it really quickly. Wow, wow. Fuck you. This is crazy. Wow. It's going to be civil war. Uh, war I mean, <clears throat> weapons are massive trust. Is extraction World War Three gods, man? Fuck up, motherfucker! Take direct action against the rebels. No, 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 no! War crimes. Intimate sector. YouTube. Subscribe. Like. Share. It region of the Indo-Pacific, but it has deployed six more defence personnel to the combined maritime forces in Bahrain. God devil, God devil, God devil! Don't sell your soul to the devil. God devil, God devil! Army, army! War, 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 war! God come into our body, enter, control us, douche, douche, make our God enter our body, control our bodies, douche, douche, champion, sport. You, you ah, I love you. Reply, listen, reply, into me, sector, subscribe, share, Facebook, all good. <coughs> coming, coming, <laughs> good manners. Day out of here at the moment. Sarah Weir has good manners. 
day out of here at the moment. Sarah Weir has been running a drop-in centre at the Jimboomba Community Hall since last Wednesday. It's open 12 hours a day, offering meals, showers and internet access. People are really stuck. It was good asking the question, listening, repro- reply, was marrying Mary, the custom tradition, cooking food, more government news. And, you know, not frustrated. I love you, fuck you, I love you, fuck you, relationship going all together. I fuck you, love you, love you. God enter our body and control us. God enter our body and control us. We need power. Love you, God. Internet sector, subscribe, you, Google. Common theme is, though... Google, Google. ...cover it, but you've got to go and buy it first. You who are ...cover it. Go enter our body, control us. Enter our body, control us, control us. God, Jesus Christ, amen, die for us. God, help us. How do we escape with a rocket? <laughs> Read the Bible. At the war, I love you, God. Answer in the body, God, control us. Our community, you know, it's just so much to contend with. She says the tornado's force and the torrential rain that followed has meant some people still can't get in and out of their properties without a struggle. That's an issue in emergencies, like when her friend's son was injured. He spilled some boiling water on him when they were making noodles on on the camp stove and um, burnt himself quite badly and, and they couldn't get out. And the ambulance had to come to them and sort of climb over fences through the neighbours to, to get this young boy out. Thorin Ledger's tree lopping business is in high demand, but the weather and the damage to the power grid have meant progress is slow. It just wasn't safe, you know, we, just, we had so much rain. So that put everybody a day behind. We're sort of waiting to clear trees because of the electricity situation as well. You know, there's a lot of power lines caught up in some of those trees and debris that are blocking driveways. It's usually a busy time for tourism. Okay, um, some bloke, he was playing the guitar. What was his name? He, the other day, he, he subscribed. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, <laughs> whatever, whatever. I love you. I love you. That's it. That's it. I'm a good bloke. Uh, I'm not a bad guy. I, I, I just realised that. I'm not a fuckwit. Fuck you too. Uh, there's floods, there's uh, kilometres of disaster. Uh, incredible. Business going on, uh, the rescue team, the SOS, the, uh, the whole lot. Boom, poof. I love you. East of Western Australia, it reached almost 50 degrees on the weekend. However, that's not a new experience for the so-called hottest town in Australia. Uh, so- hey, more fuck you to the weather, more fuck you to the weather. Yeah, come in. I love you. Good, 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 good. God. Subscribe, Intimate Sector. A sign proudly states, warmest welcome from Australia's hottest town. This summer marks 100 years since the town of about 150... Pop dinner, get drunk, I love you, punch up. WA's Northwest earned that title. And it's one Wendy McWhorter Brooks is still pretty proud of. She's on the local Shire and the Towns Tourist Association. Marble Bar had 160 days over... 100 degrees Fahrenheit. At that time, that set a record for the longest continuous number of days over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That record hasn't been beaten. That's nearly 38 degrees Celsius, and summer temperatures above 40 is part of the life here. Early morning from daylight, so till about nine o'clock on a very hot day, it'll be okay to be outside doing things but stay inside during the hottest part of the day. It's something Pam Townsend has had to adapt to. I like to go out bush sometimes to take photos. I have a wet face washer and a plastic bag, which I wipe myself down with and just keep the fluids up. She explains the heat is a tourist attraction of sorts. As for living here... I love it. I've been here 17 months now and it's just fabulous. And yes, it gets damn hot in summer. For the next week, temp- oh my god, oh my god, incredible world record, world record. Far argue, these people love it because they say we own that house, we, we're gonna die until we, there's nothing dust. They don't care about floods, they still live there, they don't care about it. So, f off, off, we can, that's what they say. World record, I love you, mad people, unhuman, wanna live underground, wanna live army style, wanna live. In the rock, S rock, you can't climb it. What if you go up there naked? What if you go to the parliament 
with a jihad or dressed like a Muslim, like um, Pauline Hansen or the lady with the motorbike or the politician that this, that, whom. Oh, let me see, let me see. There's floods. Oh, I'm crying, I'm crying, I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. They have floods. It's, it's silly. Oh, oh, this is the fans. What happened? For nearly 60 years, various Land Rover models have been an Australian Army mainstay. Now, many are to be pensioned off, replaced by more than a 1,000 new Hawkeye military vehicles. The federal government has awarded a $1.3 billion defence contract to a local manufacturer to build the new... i just like to debate that um, maybe old system can be put to sell to countries that can't buy new ones. <coughs> Upala. Like um, I love a lower majority of countries that cannot buy and they buy um, liquid um, metal or grenades and all equipment. Uh, the one that can't be bought because second hand is like a plane that's F-16 and they need to fix the propeller and other parts of the plane or the jet or the supersonic or whatever it is they're selling it for second hand. You must have to fix it. Oh, oh yeah, I'm a very nice person. I'm a beautiful person. I am um, all champion. You will like it. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, don't be shy. Don't let the cat take your tongue. I, I'm just saying that other countries, I don't know the name. Let's say uh, Pakistan or Ecuador or Colombia or Mexico. They might have something technology where they buy secondhand helicopters, tank, and they fix it and they and they own it or they want to steal the land and that's my land because on the other side we were there fighting and we won that oh you're in this side wow where this so come on we, we can't you can't steal all our resources <laughs> what the hell is going on here a war a war in in um argentina <laughs> fucking hell <laughs> who owns the money because uh, they're trying to change the constitution, motherfucker. They're trying to change the constitution with the government of Argentina that um, the government of Argentina is uh, retreating, um, um, investigating and putting hands to hands on the laws of the uh, economic and government who is politician, uh, deputies, and all. some are kicked out, some are staying, some are moving. Uh, it says here that... You're trying to do this, now do this extra one. They fucking it up and they saying you fucking got to change um, America style. If America buys too much of that, why we, why America buy too much of that? Or why America call laws like this? Do we follow bank laws? Do we follow um, central bank laws? Do we follow protest government? Do we follow change of government? Do we follow guns? Do we follow um, terremoto <laughs> earthquakes? Uh, OPNIs, <laughs> do we follow UFOs, uh, war crime? New four-wheel drive, which is light enough to be carried by a helicopter but still able to withstand roadside bombs. That contract will secure some 200 jobs in the central Victorian town of Bendigo. Kelly Dezaro reports. The Hawkeye is named after a species of death adder and the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull says the Australian Army has just submitted an order for yeah, more yeah. than a thousand of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of um, um, four-wheel drive. It looks sexy. A sexy lady would love that. Painted all sexy with different colours. And um, rocket launchers and machine guns. And they got parts on the side, yeah, missing, yeah, because they, um, one in Tasmania, they kill, they change the gun laws, they go cutting it, uh, the gangs were trying to get, it. it's incredible, man, bro, I don't know, don't ask me, the Americans are in Northern Territory, in the uh, Kimberley's, in the pam pam pim 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 pam pam pim <laughs> fuck you. This $1.3 billion investment will mean greater capability for defence, Around. And oh yeah, and they all have to worry because maybe the tsunami or something over there happened and, and start something over here to start uh, whatever it is army, the garbage that needs to be thrown up in the sky. We got satellites, satellites, garbage. China is getting barrier bands going to the moon and all that. Very mind blowing, mind blowing. Japan in the moon and mind blowing, mind blowing. <laughs> Buildings, uh, up technology.
around 170 more jobs and will... Who wins out of space program? <laughs> I'm picking my nose. I love you. Sport gym. Sport gym. How do we get more healthy God come into our body and control us? God come into our body and control us. God, you are in my body. <laughs> control me, body. God is in my body. God is in my body. Control me, God. You, I'm yours, God. <laughs> Return the gold to Venezuela. <laughs> Augusto Pinochet. Australia. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Low, low suit, low. Okay, apple, apple. We'll consolidate Australia's position as a world leader in military transport technology. The Hawkeye holds six soldiers and can be armed with grenade launchers and machine guns. It's light enough to be carried into battle by the Army's Chinook helicopters, but it's also tough. The V-shaped hull can deflect gunfire and roadside bomb blasts. The Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull, says the first of the vehicles will roll off the production line in 2019. The men and women of our armed services are entitled to the best equipment we can provide them to do their job and do it well. The Hawkeye. Uh, wait, I'm um, sorry. Yes, very well said. Um, whoever the don't worry, it's black. Don't worry, who cares? It's all good, man. It's all good, bro. Cars, bro. New Zealand, Tapu, Tua, Yag. Yeah, bro. A shower, a purple. Good, good, good. I love you. Suck it, suck it. Suck it, sucker. Love you. Suck it. Technology, Japan, Japan, China. I love you. Please be nice to Australia. We want. Um, lawsuits for bad things, cyber attack, no good. I love you. Okay, what's going on? I hear noises now. You're freaking me out. I'm the name of God. Come inside our bodies. Control us. We love you, God. We're for you, God. <laughs> Heck, that technology. Okay, amigos, you're crazy. Has met this mandate. The Defence Minister, Maurice Payne, travelled with the Prime Minister to a test site. Yeah, they are making new ones. Uh, and all ones, very equipped, sexy, sexy, the, the, uh, with a metal fucking, <laughs> very strong motherfucker. It needs to be a fucking big, <laughs> no fuck with me, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. North of Melbourne to make what's been her first major announcement in the new role. I know that the Hawkeye has been more than... Melbourne ...to make grenade launchers and machine guns. It's light enough to be carried into battle by the Army's Chinook helicopters, but it's also tough. The V-shaped hull can deflect gunfire. Okay, it's sexy and you know it. It's fucking punch a Bosch Hector. Punch Hector in the head now. This metal, very fucking well made and all this. It's a world record, world record. And some are for right now, some are not. Some like, um... Pakistan, Ecuador or El Salvador, they take the um, toys and they make um, more shiny and come back and sell it, rehanded uh, part of the car, uh, uh, Chicano or the gangster in um, garage, uh, otro um, can oh, uh, programa, esto, uh, opni, uh, gobierno, distecta, uh, equalizer, uh, to, uh, throw it, they throw in it somewhere. They need to, um, yeah, very sexy parts. And how, how can they sell a machine? Oh, yeah, well, just dismantle this. You, boy, yeah, take it back to the um, Vietnam. <laughs> wow, you're allowed to buy a machine gun in the army that's throwing. Oh, that country needed some of this, so we we um, give them um, um, a gift. We give them a gift, very nicely said, pay a little bit, and we give you all this um, 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 sexy, sexy tanks, um, not tanks, um, four-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, um, humpers, very nice one, with machine gun and, um, telescope, and <laughs> grenades, and so, <coughs> grenades, mad, fully equipped, mate, fucking hell, Hector, calm down, mate, you're too loud, sorry, 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 I love you, they all, he's throwing, I don't know what happened, uh, they, they got the mine as well. They're saying about the waste and the throwing. Uh, uh, what do you call? We need Aquaman or the, the another Jesus Christ fix those things that the like atmosphere and the weather and the earthquakes and the um, outside antennas, um, uh, garbage, garbage. Who goes to the moon? Race the race of technology. <laughs>
and roadside bomb blasts. The Prime Minister Mel... But I don't say I'm mad, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It's not like this anyway, but I love Germany, oh, very nice, in China, in America, or go moon, India. Malcolm Turnbull says the first of the vehicles will roll off the production line in 2019. The men and women of our armed services are entitled to the best equipment we can provide them to do their job and do it well. The Hawkeye has met this mandate. The Defence Minister, Maurice Payne, travelled with the Prime Minister to a test site north of Melbourne to make what's been her first major announcement in the new role. I know that the Hawkeye has been more than put through its paces here at, uh, at Monageta and uh, the Australian Army and our technicians and engineers have very much given Talos a good run for your money in making sure that this vehicle... Oh, but don't fucking throw it out that you make now so million and give it away to Ukraine or whoever you're giving it to. Come on, fuck up. Debate that, you dogs. ...delivers what our soldiers need in the field. The Hawkeye is fitted with digital technology that enables the vehicle to access intelligence for command control. It will be made at Talos Australia's Bendigo plant in central Victoria by the same team that gave the Army its Bushmaster. The Chief of Army, Lieutenant General Angus Campbell, says the Bushmaster has more than impressed Army personnel worldwide. Throughout the employment of the Bushmaster... In <coughs> the Mafia and the underground, the Serbians, the Chileans, Latinos, Cholos, Pulo, Chicanos, Tov, Pu, Drogas, the... A drug dealers, ha 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 ha, go rent our body now, go rent our body, go <laughs> control us for the marriage. <laughs> Sexy, do 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 do, taxi, do 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 do, look after, look after, look after, ha <laughs> ha, market, do, boop, boop, boop. mind blowing. I've lost the plot, what am I meant to do? Oh shit, oh, oh, oops, I'm beautiful, sport, sport. And Afghanistan, Tulsa Australia worked in partnership with Defence. They progressively analysed improvised explosive and small arms incidents to upgrade the detection levels of the Bushmaster. Many young Australians are alive today. Well, did they do this with Canada, America, Mexico, or in South Pacific? <coughs> Whether they just said it was sexy. Um, the making gang, <laughs> someone was like a gangster, listen, yeah, Hector, they're pulling the fucking, full fucking frontal, you know, uh, um, grenades, uh, machine guns, um, fucking, four, four, fucking, the whole lot, all, uh, AI, fucking, all, about well equipped, Hector, well equipped, with rockets on the side, doosh, doosh, that go straight ahead, you can move it up on the around or something, <laughs> incredible, mind blowing what they're doing, and some is thrown in the bin there and people can come and buy it. Not come and buy it. You have to ask the government and it'll fuck you up. It's just China took um, Darwin and they are acting very naughty. It's, that's all it is. They're not following um, protocols or something. Uh, maybe uh, in um, abuse to Taiwan to say, we want war with you, Taiwan. <laughs> or Philippines, no go to South Sea or up in um, Iraq and make base in Syria for American army take go and my love. <laughs> Today because of this work. Talos has invested $55 million in developing the Hawkeye. The Bushmaster was sold in three other countries and the company's vice president in land, Kevin Wall, says the Hawkeye's potential for export is also huge. Yeah, I apl applaud. Very nice. Re rewind that. That's what a record. That's what a record. I don't care when they did it. I'm nearly crying. <clears throat> protocol, I said, I think, you have to ask the government, for pro you know, gangsters love that, oh, or just a question, oh, can I do that naughty thing, pull two, buy that, and then four or five tanks and six lions and, and this big castle, big castle, yeah, you, you where are you going to, oh, you are, are you going to live here in Australia, oh, you going to, uh, okay, the big castle, oh, okay, I don't know, I don't know, the mafia, that's where one day was going to happen, uh, Big guns all thrown and they're washing it and uh, the gun can resist water. Incredible. Sexting, you know, and the gangster loved it. Huh? And they said, fuck off. What's your name? And I said, my name is Hector. Uh, fuck off out of the way, mate. With technology, a bang. Do, do, do. Poof, Russian, Chinese, <laughs> Filipino. <laughs>
much. We've recently come back from a huge trade show in the uh, in UK where we upstream marketed the uh, the vehicle to uh, to countries such as Poland and UK, and they're real they're real targets for us at the moment. Today's announcement was a big developing the Hawkeye. The bush Master Bushmaster has more than impressed army personnel worldwide. Throughout the employment of the Bushmaster in Iraq and Afghanistan, Thomas Australia worked in partnership with Defence. They progressively analysed improvised explosive and small arms incidents to upgrade the detection levels of the Bushmaster. Many young Australians are alive today because of this work. Talus has invested $55 million in developing the Hawkeye. The Bushmaster was sold in three other countries and the company's vice president in land, Kevin Wall, says the Hawkeye's potential for export is also huge. We've recently come back from a huge trade show in the uh, in UK where we upstream marketed the uh, the vehicle to uh, to countries such as Poland and UK. And they're... them to do their job and do it well. Yeah, here in Australia, when they say I'm um, Chicano, gangster boss, a world record, fuck you, fuck you. <clears throat> they want them fucking fantastic, man. Yeah, you, um, I don't know why they throw it. Debating, debate, they have to have a debate. Uh, the nuclear is going to be, f the, the atmosphere, uh, the weather, uh, the young girl from Sweden, <laughs> no, fuck you. Who wins? Are, are the most powerful Hector? The most of more power in Antifa, nothing. <laughs> um, Run DMC, Public Enemy, <laughs> Ice Cube. <laughs> whoa, 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 what am I doing? Amigo, que pasa? Chica, la raza. Esto, che, ya se fue como esto. No tengo que pasar así, no esto. Esto porque esto. Le ponen ritmo cantando, entrando, pensando. Ahí leemos todos juntos, va que comunicando, nación, nación, el mundo, ya, 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 la, la, la. Well, the Hawkeye has met this mandate. The defense. I don't know how to answer. I'm, I'm, I'm saying crazy things because it, it's blowing my mind what I'm listening. I've never heard of this and I'm giving a F off, yeah, pa, pa, pa. <laughs> Love you. The sexy, 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 esto es sexy, esto es muy sexy, <coughs> muy bonito, el lindo, <laughs> no sé, I'm um, God, come into our body, <laughs> we love you, come in, come in, control the power, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I'm God, I love you, go, put on, in Apples, California, Canberra, Germany, <laughs> Defence Minister Maurice Payne travelled with the Prime Minister to a test site north of Melbourne to make what's been her first major announcement in the new role. I know that the Hawkeye has been more than put through its paces here at, uh, at Monageta and uh, the Australian Army and uh, technicians and engineers have very much given Talos a good run for your money in making sure that this vehicle delivers what our soldiers need in the field. The Hawkeye is fitted with digital technology that enables the vehicle to access intelligence for command control. It will be made at Talos Australia's Bendigo plant in central Victoria by the same team that gave the Army its Bushmaster. The Chief of Army, Lieutenant General Angus Campbell, says the Bushmaster has more than impressed Army... Sí, sí, el criminal de, um, de Sydney y el otro de los bikes... Oh, otro hablando de español. Wow, 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 wow. Estoy hablando fuerte. <coughs> Defense of replacement, brother. Okay, um, many of these um, people, I don't mention names because I'm not good at mentioning names, but I've seen they take the um, get, Yeti, the robot, the thing the, the, on the water, what do you call it? They tell you, vehicle, <coughs> vehicle, your drug, your drugs, your guns. They fuck you up, pew pew pew, fuck you up, pew pew pew. Uh, if um, um, plenty uh, question debate, if, um, debate. Um, the man and the wife are um, protesting. Why don't you help the poor people? Why you buy a submarine with nuclear bomb? Uh, what is this uh, going on with the Aborigines? What's going on with the submarines and the Aborigines? 
license to kill, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and we think that um, it needs to be history. What day is the Australian um, 26, is it? Uh, oh, Hector. Hector. New Zealand, New Zealand, <laughs> New Zealand, <laughs> New Zealand. Hector, shut up. Find the news, please. Thousands turn out for Australia Day protests. On the official Australia Day public holiday, thousands have gathered across the country to mark the survival of Indigenous cultures. In Sydney's Belmore Park, children, elders and the next generation of passionate black speakers reminded the crowd that sovereignty was never ceded despite the British claiming it as their own on January 26, 1788. After a welcome to country, chants of always was, always will be Aboriginal land echoed as dozens of armed police watched on. One officer, who did not wish to be named, told Yahoo News Australia. Oh, oh, I'm sick, daughter. You put it back, you idiot. Okay, they had many um, disturbing with um, Latinos, Indians. Uh, Cronulla riots was one bad one. And, um, see, yo puedo hablar español. I can speak English. Thousands turn out for Australia Day protests. On the official Australia Day public holiday, thousands have gathered across the country to mark the survival of Indigenous cultures. In Sydney's Belmore Park, children, elders and the next generation of passionate black speakers reminded the crowd that sovereignty was never ceded despite the British claiming it as their own on January 26, 1788. After a welcome to country, chants of always was, always will be Aboriginal land echoed as dozens of armed police watched on. One officer, who did not wish to be named, told Yahoo News Australia he was impressed by the crowd and it was the first time he'd seen Indigenous dancing. The gathering had a clear political edge with speakers criticising the upcoming referendum to have an Indigenous voice to Parliament. Many said they did not want to be part of a constitution created by white colonisers. Australia is still a racist country, one woman said. We're actually... Thousands turn out for Australia Day protests. On the official Australia Day public holiday, thousands have gathered across the country to mark the survival of Indigenous cultures. In Sydney's Belmore Park, children, elders and the next generation of passionate black speakers reminded the crowd that sovereignty was never ceded despite the British claiming it as their own on January 26, 1788. After a welcome to country, chants of always was, always will be Aboriginal land echoed as dozens of armed police watched on. One officer, who did not wish to be named, told Yahoo News Australia he was impressed by the crowd and it was the first time he'd seen Indigenous dancing. The gathering had a clear political edge with speakers criticising the upcoming referendum to have an Indigenous voice to Parliament. Many said they did not want to be part of a constitution created by white colonisers. Australia is still a racist country, one woman said. Wiradjuri woman and Greens candidate for the NSW Upper House, Linda Junko, spoke against the referendum, labelling it a salacy. White Australia... This is the reckoning to 135 years and we ain't going nowhere, she told the crowd. They tried to wipe us out till here. They tried to breed us out till here. They tried to commit genocide on us, still here. Others criticised the Albanese government for supporting Fantos's promised coal seam gas mine in Narrabri, which is opposed by the majority of the Camilleroy nation, as well as many farmers. In the 31 years since the Royal Commission into Aboriginal Death in Custody, there have been more than 500 additional deaths. One couple told Yahoo News Australia they were in attendance at the protest to remember a friend who had died. 
One of our friends, her brother passed away in custody, Stefan said. We're just coming out to show support and so support to all the people here. Michelle, a proud Wiradjuri woman, said she has been attending marches since she was eight years old. We were one of the first to march in the land rights and stuff like that, so we want to teach our kids to come and march, you know. That's what it's all about. Controversial flag spotted at Invasion Day rally. As temperatures in Sydney nudged 30 degrees, the march kicked off from Belmore Park and snaked through Pitt Street, George Street and Broadway to Victoria Park. The Sea of Red, Black and Yellow brought traffic to a halt as singing and dancing erupted outside Central Station. Among the hundreds of flags being waved above the crowd was a sad detail. Many were flying the tent embassy flag instead of the Aboriginal flagist of the Commonwealth took ownership of it last year. While then Prime Minister Scott Morrison stated that the flag had been freed for Australians. Some First Nations people felt it was instead being made the property of the Commonwealth. Protesters were greeted with a round of applause by those watching cultural performances at Yibun Festival a celebration of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture. First Nations mum calls for end to cringy Australia Day activities. I'm taking um, the thing from the bottom of the plane. We, oh, what am I? I'm so goofy. I don't even know why I'm talking. I take in the thing. I'm sitting down now. I got the phone in my hand, right? Yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, oh what was I meant to say? That the constitution, or maybe they need to um, ally the flag or something, where the where the cross is and leave the um, stars, leave the stars where the cross is, put the Aboriginal flag somewhere in the Australian flag. Ha <laughs> ha! World record, uh, civil war or something that uh, commemorates to remember that it was genocide to kill to. Uh, owned the land. The land was owned by the black and then it was bad because genocide. I don't understand. On the name of God. Enter our body. Enter Superman. Make a Superman. God is control of our body. God is control of our body. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. God is control of our body. On Jesus Christ. The died on the cross of us. Son, son, son. Oh, yeah, 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 it's world record, world record, sexy, though, sexy, world, world record, all good. You're very good, Hector, I love you. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. You got schizophrenia. <clears throat> Excuse me, please, I love you. Activities. Incredible reaction to... Oh, I was going to New Zealand, New Zealand, I changed the name of the river. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Parts Australia Day boycott. Couldn't believe it. Indigenous women travelled to untoward of cultural genocide in Australia. Albanese says date will not be changed. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says the government will not consider changing the date of Australia Day from January 26. But is itching the nation to come together through the Indigenous Voice to Parliament plan? Mr Albanese said the voice was a very clear proposition that would constitutionally recognise Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people as Australia's first peoples. It is something missing from our nation's birth certificate. It's missing from our constitution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be very nice. Can up, can up, can up. They say something like, um, this is a custodian or something that died. The movie, watch out when you watch it. <clears throat> it's got uh, sentimental people crying or dancing or whistling or playing or ceremony, uh, smoke or fuck it, fuck it, native dance, native dance. Talking in that language, in their tongue. Mr Albanese said on Thursday, and I say this is not now when, if not... Oh, can't call your tongue. Oh, that's what I was going to say. They created that. They were there first. They already had potatoes and oysters and houses and you know, boats. Chinese. All martyrs. Ah. <clears throat> So what I was meant to say, the question, Hector, all this was created. Oh, the New Zealand, oh, they changed the river to the name of the indigenous culture. So it can be debated, things like um, mountains to climb or the national anthem. Or oh, the human might be Irish or Scottish or 
whatever I marry there, I will reach any lady. You know what I mean? <clears throat> not now. When will this change occur? And is not the people of Australia this year who will make this change? A referendum on enshrining the voice in the constitution will be held later this year. With R. Do you have a story tip? Email newsroomow at yonews.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter and download the Yahoo News app from Sheep Story Google Play. Anthony Albanese, Prime Minister of Australia since 2022. Wow. Okay, okay. It's like the <clears throat> multicultural people that get arrested for um, refugees in the camp and in the hotel and uh, cross the river and they were full of crocodile but still made it to the other side. Lucky fella, lucky fella. What do you call that? What do you call that? Uh, this one. And copy. And down here. New. Thousands attend Invasion Day rallies on Australia's national holiday as colonisation debate rages Australia News The Guardian, Australia News. Thousands attend Invasion Day rallies on Australia's national holiday as colonisation debate rages, with Australia increasingly uneasy about celebrating its national day. Recognition of Indigenous people in the Constitution has become a new flashpoint. Tens of thousands of people have marked Australia's National Day by attending protest rallies in cities across the nation. Amid a rising political and social reckoning with the country's colonial history, Australia Day 26 January commemorates the landing of the British First Fleet of Convicts at Sydney Cove in 1788, the beginning of the settlement that entrenched European colonisation of the Australian continent. We need to stop the lying Prof. Marshall Langton, a Yemen and Bijara woman, said on Thursday, arguing that Australia's National Day should not be one that commemorates colonization. The biggest lie, of course, is Australia Day. I think we can find an inclusive date and I think we can start to tell the truth about Australia's history and show some respect for all. Thousands attend Invasion Day rallies on Australia's national holiday as colonisation debate rages Australia News The Guardian, Australia News. Thousands attend Invasion Day rallies on Australia's national holiday as colonisation debate rages, with Australia increasingly uneasy about celebrating its national day. Recognition of Indigenous people in the Constitution has become a new flashpoint. Tens of thousands of people have marked Australia's National Day by attending protest rallies in cities across the nation. Amid a rising political and social reckoning with the country's colonial history, Australia Day 26 January commemorates the landing of the British First Fleet of Convicts at Sydney Cove in... <clears throat> Why are these sexy people with bees and bikies and bats and Antifa and uh, sexy, uh, uh, Nazi <laughs> lobby... I love you, Palestine, Palest Palestinos. 1788, the beginning of the settlement that entrenched European colonization of the Australian continent. We need to stop the lying Prof. Marshall Langton, a Yemen and Bijara woman. Ya la, ya la la la, ya la la, Liverpool, ha ah, ha ha, champion, I love you. Thursday, Our very nice. Let's start everybody together. Woof. Black, white, all colors, multiculture, Aborigines. 
arguing that Australia's National Day should not be one that commemorates. Put the Aborigine flag on the Australian flag. Get rid of the Union Jack. <laughs> the biggest lie, of course, is Australia Day. I think we can find an inclusive date and I think we can start to tell the truth about Australia's history and show some respect for all the survivors of frontier wars. While the date has been acknowledged since the 19th century, Australia Day has been a national public holiday only since 1994, and has grown increasingly divisive with a broadening public consciousness of the systematic dispossession. Oh, sexy, this weather, people mind, you blow, blow, they do this, I love you, Hector. Australians. The genocidal violence that marked British settlement and the persistent disadvantage and oppression faced by indigenous people. On Thursday, rallies were held to mark Invasion Day, Survival Day and Sovereignty Day, in a public sign that activities on 26 January are moving from the fireworks, festivals and flag-waving of the past to become marked by more sombre reflection, protest and, for many, disengagement. Increasing numbers of Australians are choosing to campaign to change the date. Councils have forsworn to hold citizenship ceremonies in the day, and the National Broadcaster's annual music poll, previously a 26th January fixture, has been moved. They'll have different um, um, humans from different one plane. Oh, yeah, I'm your friend, Hector. Yeah, 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 cool, cool. Him, him, him. Yeah, he's cool, bro. Subscribe to him, man. Subscribe to him, bro. Yeah, bro. To, to, I love you. Now, um, you gotta look at things differently. You gotta look at change. You gotta describe what is uh, a, a mission or whatever the words are and the, the economic money to cultivate or buy computers or outer space program, different um, millions of other planets. Mind blowing. Weekend, in Sydney, we Rogery woman Linda June Co. told the thousands strong crowd the day marked a reckoning for white Australia. We create new future, I now fuck ya. Go to pa po 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 Que bueno. I love you, Hector. Australia, 235 years and we ain't going nowhere, she said. They tried to wipe us out, still here. They tried to breed us out, still here. They tried... Left, right, left, right. Here, the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, said on Thursday there was no proposal from his government to move Australia Day to another date, but a Guardian Essential poll from growing support for a change, 26% of Australians were supportive in 2023, up from 20% a year ago, and 15% in 2019. Advocates argue an eventual change of date is inevitable. Defenders of Australia Day, such as the Conservative opposition leader, Peter Dutton, argue Australia should celebrate its unique blend of Indigenous, British and multicultural histories. We shouldn't be embarrassed or ashamed by who we are, we should be more proud of who we are, Dutton said. We don't need to tear down one part of our history to build up the other. The moment of reflection on Australia's history and national identity has been particularly acute this year as the country begins to debate a referendum, proposed for later in the year that would enshrine an Indigenous voice to Parliament in the Constitution. The voice would advise the Parliament and Government on matters relating to the social, spiritual and economic well-being of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Parliament and Government would be obliged to consult the voice on matters that overwhelmingly relate to Indigenous people but the voice proposed to be made up of 24 indigenous people drawn from across the country would not be a lawmaking body. Rather, it would be a platform for indigenous people to directly advise all levels of government about laws and policies that affect their lives. The Minister for Indigenous Australians, Linda Burney, a Wiradjuri woman, has argued, it's about drawing a line on the poor outcomes from the long legacy of failed programs and broken policies, and listening to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Holding a referendum on The Voice was an election commitment of the Labour government, which took power last year, but it has faced opposition from outside and within Indigenous Australia. The Green Senator and First Nations spokeswoman Lydia Thorpe, a Jabwari Ngunai Gundit Mara woman, told an Invasion Day rally in Melbourne the Australian government needed to sign a treaty recognising Indigenous sovereignty before any vote on The Voice. Do we want to become advisers now? We deserve better than that. We deserve better. Our constitution comes from the soil and the blood of our people. We need peace. We deserve better than an advisory body. We want real power, and we won't settle for anything less. Share on Facebook.
Share on Twitter. Share via email. Share on LinkedIn. Share on WhatsApp. Share on Messenger. Oh, uh, it's got six. Uh, oh, yeah. While I talk, I'll look for the other one. Whoa! I you 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 two 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 two. Kaka yo. Exercise. Move it. <laughs> exercise. To make you do exercise. Exercise. <laughs> oh, sekayo, 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 sekayo. Uh, volcano, volcano to ashes, lava, putana, putana, pufu, 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 mixto. Ah, el loto, toto, porque tu, 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 Takai uno ela, tá lindo. New tab. Pak Megadhead. Oh, he Megadhead. Love you. Oh, motherfucker, this really <coughs> mind blowing these people. They're rats. Heck, oh, they kill you, Hector. They kill you. Kara to pato. Si ta ta. Pupu 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 Oh, <laughs> arena, la ballena, el diablo, el día de la muerte, tradición y costumbre, tú hablas español y inglés, nada más, dos subscribers a los canales, guitarra, guitarra, puncha, puncha, pamara, pamara, Cholo bolo, cholo bolo, mueve la comida, crece, punto, explota, Russia, Ukraine, el world record, woohoo, bye, I love you. Australia Day holiday marked with Invasion Day rallies DW, January 26th, 2023. Thousands of people attended rallies across Australia in protest against the Australia Day public holiday. Many described the holiday that coincides with the arrival of European settlers at Sydney Harbour as Invasion Day or Survival Day. Protesters are demanding it is changed or cancelled to be more inclusive of Indigenous people. They invaded our lands, killing our extended families, turning our warriors into slaves, Indigenous activist Paul Silva said to a crowd of thousands in Sydney. How can this day be celebrated? Increasingly divisive National Day. An annual poll by market research company, Roy Morgan released this week showed nearly two-thirds of Australia. Oh, wow, yeah, oh, fuck. Oh, um, John Farham, punch Hector, the country's better. I love you, Army Australia. I love you, exercise Hector. Sexy, sexy, sexy. They want you to walk the dog and have a beautiful life. And be yeah, yeah, yeah. don't destroy it. You are fantastic. Oh, I love you. Come on, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say
ka ma ke hoi e australia dai holiday ma ke wi e besho ok mala tu el ta au oho selula mobil ya si 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 mi yo yo e Australia Day holiday marked with Invasion Day rallies DW January 26, 2023. Th oh, right on the face, Hector. Right on the face now, Hector. Canada. Thousands of people attended rallies across Australia in protest against the Australia Day public holiday. Many described the holiday that coincides with the arrival of European settlers at Sydney Harbour as Invasion Day or Survival Day. Protesters are demanding it is changed. Follow Constitution. Respect constitution, no criminal, don't destroy bad, don't destroy uh, um, the owner or custodian. What's the problem? Um, who, who did, who not? Who did it? Oh, Seba. <clears throat> Inclusive of indigenous people. They invaded our lands, killing our extended families, turning our war. Oh, where the Kimberley, ha ha ha, they have the cowboys, right? Oh, and they dress up sexy. Oh, again, sexy man, sexy. The real on the top. Young little kid with the sexy, not sexy, not, not, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. They are upper class, very sexy. Activist Paul Silvis. You know what I'm saying in the Kimberley, they, they train like um, Aborigines or something or something. I mean, the well men or sexy European, um, Polish, uh, Welsh, uh, uh, um, 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 Irish, um, what's it called, in the river, go there and come back up with a lot of food and attraction, um, live a good, wealthy life in the area, cultivate. The one guy and uh, another nine other guys cultivated the land and survived for years to come with others. Mixed race. Thousands in. If they pick on you, you shouldn't worry that. Let them pick on you because... Uh, you can walk away <clears throat> and you still do a play and keep going. They still are uh, despicable at you. It's stupid. And you just walk away and come back and you walk away and come back and you do it. Sydney. How can this day be celebrated? Increasingly divisive National Day. And then you No, it's the family now in the outback, like the young mothers, aborigines, or young families, uh, studies, or cultivating, or how the stories go, so they live how in the night time might go out 50 kids to 10 kids to 9 kids, the radios all have stories, thousand, well, record, um, heavy metal, <clears throat> nothing territories, stories. Polled by market research company, Roy Morgan released this week showed nearly two-thirds of Australians say January 26 should be considered Australia Day, largely unchanged from a year ago. The rest believe it should be Invasion Day. There are also some who believe Australia Day should fall on a different date. Australia Day has taken place annually since 1994. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said while it was a difficult day for Indigenous Australians, there were no plans to change the holiday's date. The demonstrations have an added significance this year as Albanese's government plans a referendum on recognizing Indigenous people in the Constitution and requiring consultation with them on decisions that affect their lives. The public will vote on the change, called the Indigenous Voice to Parliament, later this year. The referendum has been criticized by several conservative figures. Australia Day holiday marked with Invasion Day rallies DW, January 26, 2023. Thousands of people attended rallies across Australia in protest against the Australia Day public holiday. Many described the holiday that coincides with the arrival of European settlers at Sydney Harbour as Invasion Day or Survival Day. Protesters are demanding it is changed or cancelled to be more inclusive of Indigenous people. They invaded our lands, killing our extended families, turning our warriors into slaves, indigenous activist Paul Silva said to a crowd of thousands in Sydney. How can this day be celebrated? Increasingly divisive National Day. An annual poll by market research company Roy Morgan released this week showed nearly two-thirds of Australians say January 26 should be considered Australia Day, largely unchanged from a year ago. The rest believe it should be Invasion Day. There are also some who believe Australia Day should fall on a different date. 
Australia Day has taken place annually since 1994, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said while it was a difficult day for Indigenous Australians, there were no plans to change the holiday's date. The demonstrations have an added significance this year as Albanese's government plans a referendum on recognizing Indigenous people in the Constitution and requiring consultation with them on decisions that affect their lives. The public will vote on the change, called the Indigenous Voice to Parliament, later this year. The referendum has been criticized by several conservative figures. East Ipsland Gardeners planting fire, why species to help protect homes from bushfires, ABC News. Victorians in fire-prone areas are teaching locals not to be afraid of native vegetation and to instead use fire, why is... <coughs> yes, 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 yes. In America, um, a person might buy a house and underneath they might have um, snakes. The beautiful people have a gym and a swimming pool and... A section, you know it, mate, next to the ocean doing exercise, protein pills, um, mind blowing. Uh, it's up in the mountains, a bit high, and uh, just cutting um, the helicopter to fly a drone or something to see if a um, bushfire needs to be killing the small um, bushes, saving the uh, lizards, snakes, and others. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, reptilian. The Yawi, the Yawi, whatever the ghost is, they they got army um goggles and they see the bottle fall on the ground. What do you call that? And the and the pub is um haunted, and so is um the, the jail and all that. You know what I mean? Like people uh, play fantastic, people play good. And some uh, sheep come in third, good person come third, good person, pew, pew, pew. Oh, love you, <laughs> punch Hector in the head. I love you, punch Hector in the head. It was good. They needed that. You know what I mean? That's what the family say, come over here, there, where, live here, live there. You know what I mean? Plants in their gardens to help protect homes and businesses during hot and dry summers. Key points. Firewise plants with low flammability can slow bushfires down, helping residents to escape. Gardens with firewise plants are being established in areas impacted by black summer bushfires. A landcare group in Far East Gippsland is creating a native fee bank as an insurance policy to protect plants. Uh, it was up a hill or Robinson or uh, in America, the house might be under the um, history or the guards or where the cobra or the snakes or all the other rats um the re reptilian snakes and lizards and the other um ghost ufo technology crazy hector plants in the east gippsland town of nungurna school students and the local land care network have planted thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you in New York, in New York, planted a belt of fire wise or low flammability plants to protect their primary school. The plants, many of which are indigenous to the area, include the Thibari saltbush and the Gippsland grey box. 
which has bark that hugs the tree as opposed to ribbon bark that often catches on fire. Other plant species in the belt include Jinkus, commonly known as rushes, Brachychetum popolnus currajon tree, Indigocera australis australian. Indigo Laucarpus reticulatus blueberry af, Brachychetum aferifolius illawarra flame tree, and Sebrachychetum rupestris Queensland bottle tree. Metan local and ecological artist, Catherine Van Wilgenberg, who coordinated the project, hoped more people planted firewise gardens for increased protection from bushfires. Our goal is to spread the idea of fire, wise gardens everywhere, remembering that the plants are going to be different in each area, she said. Fire wise plants are not only going to slow the bushfire aid down, but they're going to protect and support biodiversity because they're indigenous plants. Changing attitudes. Shallow Land Care member Heather Oak has lived in the area for 37 years and has experienced major bushfires, including those of Black Summer which destroyed more than 230,000 hectare of Akros, East Gippsland during 2019 to 2020. The sires threatened more than 80 communities and approached the popular tourist towns of Lakes Entrance and Malaputa. MS Oak said people were frightened after the bushfires and the first thing they did was rip up plants. A lot of people will eradicate all vegetation around their property and that's not necessarily a good idea because that allows the embers to go directly into your house, MS Oak said. What we're trying to encourage is for people not to be afraid of our local vegetation. It's really helping us. MS Oak said while the fire, wise plants would eventually burn in extreme fire, they would buy people extra time to escape. It's protecting us to a degree from the radiant heat and it's protecting your assets from the embers, she said. It's that dreadful heat that kills us. The other good thing the plants do is they keep the moisture in the ground because they're putting shade on the ground. And these are all things that do help on the day or in the build-up to the day. Protecting assets. Further east in Orbost, the far east Gippsland, Land Care Network is working with the Mugji Aboriginal Nursery to propagate native feeds, many of which were lost in the black summer bushfires. Far East Land Care facilitator Josh Puglisi said the nursery intended to plant a fire wise belt to help stop a catastrophic fire impacting it and the native feeds. Here at Mugji, they're keen to plant some green, lush plants around the outside of their plantations, which hopefully would help resist the fire for a short period of time, he said. Mr Puglisi said techniques such as building fire wise belts and propagating native feeds were just some of the ways people were adapting to the bushfire a threat. I think people have come to the... Oh, my... <coughs> Cup of tea and heroin, oh, poppies. Cup of tea, heroin, poppies, <laughs> war sign. <laughs> Read again, my... <laughs> I love you, Hector. Punching, punching, Hector. I love you, Hector. East Gippsland Gardeners Planting Fire, Why Species to Help Protect Homes from Bushfires, ABC News. Victorians in fire-prone areas are teaching locals not to be afraid of native vegetation. Mind-blowing this shit, fucking mind-blowing, drunk, 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 love you, reply, listening, into me sector, you too. And to instead use fire, wise plants in their gardens to help protect homes and businesses during hot and dry summers. Key Points. Firewise plants with low flammability. Love you, love you, champion punch actor, punch actor, love you. Flammability can slow bushfires down, helping residents to escape. Gardens with firewise plants are being established in areas impacted by black summer bushfires. A land care group in Far East Gippsland is creating a native feed bank as an insurance policy to protect plants. In the East Gippsland town of Nungurna, school students and the local land care network have planted a belt of firewise or low flammability plants to protect their primary school. The plants, many of which are indigenous to the area, include the Seabury salt bush and the Gippsland grey box, which has bark that hugs the tree as opposed to ribbon bark that often catches on fire. Other plant species in the belt include Jinkus, commonly known as rushes, Brachychetum popolnus currajon tree, Indigocera australis australian. Indigo Laucarpus reticulatus blueberry af, Brachychetum aferifolius illawarra flame tree, and Sebrachychetum rupestris Queensland bottle tree. Metan local and ecological artist, Catherine Van Wilgenberg, who coordinated the project, hoped more people planted firewise gardens for increased protection from bushfires.
Our goal is to spread the idea of fire, wise gardens everywhere, remembering that the plants are going to be different in each area, she said. Firewise plants are not only going to slow the bushfire aid down, but they're going to protect and support biodiversity because they're indigenous plants. East Gippsland gardeners planting fire, wise species to help protect homes from bushfires, ABC News. Victorians in fire-prone areas are teaching locals not to be afraid of native vegetation and to instead use fire, wise plants in their gardens to help protect homes and businesses during hot and dry summers. Key points. Fire-wise plants with low flammability can slow bushfires down, helping residents to escape. Gardens with fire-wise plants are being established in areas impacted by black summer bushfires. A land care group in Far East Gippsland is creating a native feed bank as an insurance policy to protect plants. In the East Gippsland town of Nungurna, school students and the local land care network have planted a belt of firewise or low flammability plants to protect their primary school. The plants, many of which are indigenous to the area, include the seabury salt bush and the Gippsland grey box, which has bark that hugs the tree as opposed to ribbon bark that often catches on fire. Other plant species in the belt include Jinkas, commonly known as rushes, Brachychetum populnus courage on tree, Indigocera australis australian, Indigo laucarpus reticulatus blueberry aff, Brachychetum aferifolia zillawara flame tree, and Sebrachytum rupestris Queensland bottle tree. Metam local and ecological artist, Catherine Van Wilgenberg, who coordinated the project, hoped more people planted firewise gardens for increased protection from bushfires. Our goal is to spread the idea of fire, wise gardens everywhere, remembering that the plants are going to be different in each area, she said. Firewise plants are not only going to slow the bushfire aid down, but they're going to protect and support biodiversity because they're indigenous plants. Changing attitudes. Shallow land care member Heather Oak has... Uh, <clears throat> contracting a ancestry who died before you to plant things beautifully to champion us. This was perfect, 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 perfect. This was big to go Much others that help different companies, code this, code that, to help like wheelbarrows, create um cubby house, live outside. You, <laughs> I'm crying, I'm crying. Blind mind, mind, mind blind. Uh, I live in Illawarra. It's in Wollongon, Yawara, Wollongon, I could say. Lived in the area for 37 years and has experienced major bushfires, including those of Black Summer, which destroyed more than 230,000 hectare of Akros, East Gippsland during 2019 to 2020. The fires threatened more than 80 communities and approached the popular tourist towns of Lakes Entrance and Malaputa. MS Oak said people were frightened after the bushfires and the first thing they did was rip up plants. A lot of people will eradicate all vegetation around their property and that's not necessarily a good idea because that allows the embers to go directly in. Okay, I'm not going to debate this anymore because I'm, I just think, okay, the, oh my God, my God, Jim, the Jim, stop smoking, punch it in the head. They won't move out, floods and off floods. High court, up in the high hills, come the water comes quickly. They don't give a fuck. Cat got your tongue, you champion man. This lady beautiful. Into your house, MS Oak said. What we're trying to encourage is for people not to be afraid of our local vegetation. It's really helping us. MS Oak said while the fire, wise plants would eventually burn in extreme fire, they would buy people extra time to escape. It's protecting us to a degree from the radiant heat and it's protecting your assets from the embers, she said. It's that dreadful heat that kills us. The other good thing the plants do is they keep the moisture in the ground because they're putting shade. They're going to have to prove that 99 UFOs to the 5, the 7, B1, B2 uh, Olympics, uh, the men from the snow, the Gold Coast, I love you, uh, God. Control our body, control our body, God. <laughs> I love you. Different families, the uh, companies there here, drones, army, gangsters. On the ground. 
And these are all things that do help on the day or in the build up to the day, protecting assets. Further east in Albost, the Far East Gippsland Land Care Network is working with the Mugji Aboriginal Nursery to propagate native feeds, many of which were lost in the black summer bushfires. Far East Land Care facilitator Josh Puglisi said the nursery intended to plant a fire wires belt to help stop a catastrophic fire impacting it and the native feeds. Here at Mugji, they're keen to plant some green, lush plants around the outside of their plantations which hopefully would help resist the fire for a short period of time, he said. Mr. Puglisi said techniques, such as building fire, wise belts and propagating native feeds, were just some of the ways people were adapting to the bushfire a threat. I think people have come to that realisation that this is the new normal and they're building techniques to help them practically, as well emotionally, cope with this new environment we find ourselves in, he said. We're hoping that once the feed banks are created and there's a good number of plants, if they are impacted again, then we have an insurance policy that protects them. We know there is going to be more wildfires, so it's just a matter of time and this summer's already heading in that direction. Want more, Victorian? <clears throat> I'm sorry, the mind-blowing gangsters are <laughs> sexy people. They say, oh yeah, you're scared of running up the mountain, are you? We're going to put a backpack and we're going to see what the soil is like up there, Hector. Huh? What? We're intelligent, Hector. We want to look after the environment. They're accusing us for environment disasters and that. We're going to fix it, Hector. Huh? What? What are you doing? What's good? Um, madam? Huh? My God. Uh, you have others? You you work alone? How do you? Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. Victorian News. Set your website and news app so you can stay across the latest state-based analysis, news and alerts. Mr Puglisi said work on the native feed bank started immediately after black, summer and since its inception, 13 different species from across East Gippsland had been propagated. It's been really inspirational for me to see just how invested so many people in this region are in the natural environment that surrounds them, he said. Facing a challenging summer. Nungderna FIFA and Landhair member Jess Berry experienced Black Summer too. Whoa. MS Berry said knowledge could help ease anxiety, especially as the community faced what was predicted to be a challenging summer. The more knowledge that we can gather and that we can help our kids gather, the oh, better, really? she said. Knowing the properties of plants, knowing the behaviour of fire, all of that helps. Preparation, knowledge and survival go hand in hand. MS Berry said she was starting to see the Country Fire Authority FIFA incorporating firewise plants into its guidance on preparing properties for fire. <clears throat> this, 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 this is sexy, sexy, I mean, um, to the max, sexy, sexy, to get to uh, antennas of aerospace, UFO, UFO. You can army um, others, uh, they, they cancel and looking after the forest. With a sexy, not a sexy, no, no, some older lady that's 46, 47 that climbs the mountain up and down, checking for the animals and fire and with the other ranger or a, a group, a line, army, technology. The CFAR already puts out a brochure on fire, belts on farms, for coastal gardening and for rural gardening, she said. It's all um, AI. Interfacial technology, a uh, fucking mind control. The brochures outline what plants are more suitable closer to the house, further away from the house, and what plants are not suitable to have closer to built up properties. So there is already a connection there, but I think that connection will continue to grow and that awareness of not all plants are bad will increase. Right plant, right location. CFAR Senior Program Manager Jeff Morris recommended people look at its guides on landscaping and plant selection as part of their fire preparation. We'd encourage people to look at our Landscaping for Bushfire A guide, which provides advice around the types of plants and how they can be located on a property, he said. We know if you get the right plant, and they are appropriately located in the garden, that they can reduce the risk of exposure of a house to radiant heat and to embers, and thus reduce the risk of loss of houses. We'd also encourage people to maintain their gardens. A key part of fire, wise plants is also the maintenance of those plants over time. Get our local newsletter, 
delivered free each Tuesday. Posted yesterday is 7.49 am Ward 3rd January 2024 at 7.49 am updated yesterday at 7.52 am Ward 3rd January 2024 at 7.52 am. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, okay, okay, oh, pala, tango, tango, tango. Oh, pala, palo, pala, palo, pala, 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 palo, palo, pala, palo, pala, 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 Esto, um, it was breaking the technology aerospace program. <laughs> <coughs> This lady was mad, was she? Hit up. Did we rewind? Did we do the right thing? She won the award, eh? Oh, we got all this or something? And then. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How do you do that? Summer Reading Guide, ABC Heavyweight Share the Books. They'll be reading these holidays, ABC News. We're a book-loving bunch here at the ABC. Walk the halls of ABC HQS around the country, and you're bound to encounter bibliophiles in their dozens. ABC out sat down with some of our best-known bookish hosts and journos to quiz them about their summer reading plans. What do they plan to read over the break? And, more importantly, what reading recommendations do they have for us? Rip our hash TBR pile. Lee sales. I'm going to read books free and for off. For so you go. <coughs> Happy. <coughs> History. Science. N news. News. Let me go. And we were able to do the small portion of your overall brain activity. So if you give me a maths test to do, do the gamma oscillations go up? Gamma oscillation go up when you encounter unexpected situations, when you recognize a face in the crowd or alerted to some danger. For Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> oops, oops, what is he saying? Plain library. Are oh, you gonna wait, Hector? You're naughty, mate. He's trying to play for you, is it? Play. the passenger plane survived. Five of the six crew members, of course, on board the Coast Guard aircraft were killed. Play live radio now. I should have shown nothing to tell you. whose anniversary was being commemorated today, when he was assassinated four years ago, we saw some limited missile, ballistic missile strikes by Iran on American bases in Iraq. But it was choreographed in a way that would prevent Iran and the U.S. from going into an all-out war. I suspect that in the days and weeks ahead, both Iran and Hezbollah will want to extract a price 
but they will also have an interest in avoiding a complete slide into an all-out war in the region. For us, as you were uh, mentioning, there was a, a drone strike in Beirut. A senior Tasmania police officer has been accused of harassing fellow CML colleagues ABC News. In short, a senior CML Tasmania police officer has been accused of harassing fellow female colleagues at a bar. The officer, from the southern region, is the subject of an internal professional standards investigation in relation to the alleged incident. What's next? A Tasmania police spokesperson said the well being of officers is of paramount importance and well-being support has been offered to all affected parties. A senior female Tasmania police officer is being investigated, following allegations she harassed fellow colleagues at an end-of-year work social function. Tasmania police confirmed the officer, from its southern region, is the subject of an internal professional standards investigation in relation to the alleged incident. The incident against other female colleagues is alleged to have occurred at a bar on Hobart's waterfront last month, the officer has been on leave since the incident. In a statement, a Tasmania police spokesperson said the organisation does not tolerate any form of harassment and is committed to ensuring its members treat one another with respect and dignity at all times. The well-being of our officers is of paramount importance and well-being support has been offered to all affected parties. Police Commissioner Don Adams recently said the organisation was improving the way complaints involving officers were dealt with after the child sexual abuse. Commission of Inquiry raised concerns about the way it handled allegations of child sexual abuse against former senior Sergeant Paul Reynolds. Senior Sergeant Reynolds died by suicide in 2018 while under investigation for multiple offences. In October, Commissioner Adams announced an independent review, headed by Barrister Regina Wife, into the police's handling of the allegations. It's critical that we learn from our past failings and do whatever we can to ensure such serious allegations against a police officer are appropriately investigated, she said at the time. Tasmania Police has made a number of changes to the way reports relating to commissioned officers are dealt with in recent years. With the outcomes and findings of those reports required to be fed with the Integrity Commission, the watchdog is also able to monitor and audit any internal investigations. Tasmania Police has also announced it will expand its independently chaired professional standards, family and sexual violence involving police review committee. This will include oversight of all sexual assault and child sexual abuse allegations involving police members. Reflecting our fish to become more trauma-informed in how we respond to victims, MS Adams said in October. Tasmania Police has also built art centres around the state, purpose-built facilities that provide a coordinated and trauma-informed support service for victim survivors. More Tasmanian stories for Rochelle. Princess Mary. When Frederick met Mary, how a secret Tasmanian girl rose to win the hearts of the Danes. Mary Donaldson grew up in suburban Hobart and went to her local high school. Later this month, she'll become Denmark's queen when her husband, Frederick, becomes king. Plastic safety. Don't ever reheat it in the plastic container. Tips to avoid endocrine disrupting chemicals that are all around us. Shopping dockets. You are probably better off not handling them. Microwaving food in plastic. That is also not advised and it is because of the disrupting chemicals, which experts say are affecting vital systems in the human body. Christian Beck. This tech millionaire was first to finish the Sydney to Hobart, but he's happy to give the credit to his crew. 
The Sydney to Hobart yacht race has been run and won by a self-concessed frustrated sailor who thinks his boat does better when he's a fleet below deck. So who is Christian Beck? Maria Island. King Diego built a business empire from wine and filk on Maria Island. Then it all crumbled. Angelo Giulio Diego Bernacchi's vision for Maria Island is still visible today, almost 140 years after the Italian migrant arrived in Tasmania and looked set for success. Posted two hours ago, two hours ago, she forced January 2024 at 6.03 am, updated 41 meters ago, 41 minutes ago, forced January 2024 at 7.57 am. I have to go now. Sorry, this lady. Oh, he's got ten. I can plug it in. Oh, whoa, 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 fucking. The computer was taken to the repair shop. My shoes broke. My mum bought me new shoes for Christmas. And underwear, socks, and perfume, chocolates, and pies, and canned food, and, um, Can the fish tuna? Um, oh, 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 whoa, 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 fuck you, fuck you, world record, sexy, sexy, uh, 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 combining, fuck it, whatever, it proof, beautiful, beautiful, from the Bible to Israel. Um, the main one in a bank or something, or there was a banker or Illuminati or something. Selling the soul to the devil. Good, 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 good. YouTube, good, 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 good. Total, total, good, good, good. How you turn it off? Okay. Sexy and you know, intimate sector, YouTube. I love you. Subscribe. Chant it. Love you, sexy. Dinero, money. A senior Tasmania police officer has been accused of harassing fellow female colleagues, ABC News. Is there another one? What happened you get all this? Oh, there's more. That's another one. Man and dog rescued from close call in Slatter's Victoria braces for another day of wild weather, ABC News. Authorities say the community of Wedderburn in Central. Victoria are feeling relieved. Man and dog rescued from close call in Slatter's Victoria braces for another day of wild weather, ABC News. Authorities say the community of Wedderburn in Central. Victoria are feeling relieved after a man and his dog were rescued from a vehicle trapped in slud. Waters. Sergeant Benjamin Hewisman said he was off duty when he came across the incident on Tuesday. It was an extremely close call, Sergeant Hewisman said. The driver was heading home and unfortunately chose to drive through the flood waters. The water was about three to four feet deep and flowing extremely fast. It rose up very quickly before sweeping his car into the creek. He was up to his chin in flood waters and his dog was in there with him. Sergeant Hewisman said that after assessing the situation, he reported to the police station to grab a radio and headed back down to the site to assist community members trying to rescue the man. Members of the community assisted in getting him out with the help of says, he said. They threw a rope to him, then waded into the flood waters and dragged him out onto dry land. The driver was treated for hypothermia, Sergeant Hewisman confirmed, but will otherwise be fine. The driver's dog is also facing well. Under no circumstances do police, says all fire services want people driving into floodwaters, Sergeant Hewisman said. You don't know what damage has been done to the road, you don't know how fast the water is travelling and you don't know how deep the water is. You could put your own life at risk and also those that are there to assist. More severe weather to come. Victorians are being warned to brace for more wild weather as storms persist across the state on Wednesday evening. A severe thunderstorm warning issued by the Bureau of Meteorology just after 3 p.m. warned of damaging winds and heavy rainfall accompanying isolated storms. The warning follows on from Tuesday's severe weather, which for large parts of Victoria being faced with torrential rain, destructive winds, 
hailstones and widespread electrical outages with around 28,000 homes losing power. The SES has responded to more than 980 call-outs for assistance within the last 24 hours. The Bureau warns that the risk of severe storms could carry on into Thursday, with southern and central areas of New South Wales and northeastern Victoria most likely to be affected. Posted 15 hours ago, 15 hours ago, 3rd January 2024 at 5.09pm, updated 5 metres ago, 5 minutes ago, Shoe Force, January 2024 at 8.48. Live updates, as expected to open lower, major bond blasts in Iran at to Middle East tensions ABC News. Market snapshot. As to 100 futures, minus 0.7%. Australian dollar, minus 0.49% to 67.7 cents. Wall Street. Zone P500, minus 0.8% to 47.04 for points. Dow Jones, minus 0.76% to 37,000. 430 points. Nasdaq 100 minus 1.06% to 16,000. Hey, <clears throat> we are fucking up what, who is winning the fuck up. Who's more rich? Who can fuck up the market more? America, America, Canada, Mexico, what fuck the market? we the selling the microchips and the AI technology, OPNI, OPNI uh, technology advance. Who's going to explore, win? Austro notes win race. You're fucked. 16,368 points. Europe. Yes, Hector. Very beautiful. Beautiful. Wood on ya. I like it. SA minus 0.51% percent to 76.80 to points. The gangs are notorious, bikies, bra boys. Sexy, beautiful. My fucking punch on Hector. Relax, my place. Menace. Against the boss. Points. DAX, minus 1.38% to 16,538 points. Asia. Hang Feng, minus 0.85% to 16,646 points. Spot Gold, minus 0.9% to dollar US 2,040 flash ounce. Brent Crude, plus 1.1% to dollar US 79.78 flash barrel. Iron ore dollar is 136.37 flash ton. Bitcoin minus 5.06% to $42,843. Yeah, 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 suits are just sexy. Wow, 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 wow. Bosh. 42,843. Numbers updated. The pub was um, Irish when I went there. The other pub was mixed. Cowboy, Australia. Up the north and very rubber union and collision at 8.15 M8. Blasts near grave of Iranian General Qasem Soleimani kill almost 100 people. Officials two explosions have killed almost 100 people. Different people, there was a nightclub and they coming down the stairs and to get a champagne bottle or whiskey, whiskey, whatever is that tradition of the uh, townies accent or Irish accent or Scottish, Wales, and that's it, you know, and picking up the sexy ladies and uh, getting drunk, um, all partying on at the um, Frisco, Frisco Monica's. People and injured hundreds more at a ceremony in Iran to commemorate top commander Qasem Soleil. Commando, Estromendo. The nightclub was open and you can walk up and down both with the bar and the seats. So it's multi um, instrumental. You can play music down the bottom and club on the top. Full sick, mash up, a sexy. And the people didn't understand that, but I did. It was sexy when the people come and say, Fool Hector, what are you? Oh, wow. Is that the car park? Heck, people eating pizza there with, with the goon, look. Oh, you want to go there? Oh, no, he's close. And it's a man for a... Oh, oh, he's... Oh, 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 he's and good manners, Hector. How you get in, mate? You fucking jump the fence to get 
Oh, okay. where the wife been running, <laughs> fucking cause a scene, decayed, fuck with. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> you gotta respect the laws, mate. <laughs> respect. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Okay, one more, one more. Marvel challenges Disney to superhero jewel ABC News. The creators of Spider-Man and the X-Men are suing the Walt Disney Co. in a royalty dispute over animation programs broadcast on Disney's ABC Family Channel. Marvel Enterprises are suing the company for about $55 $55 million, $75 million, accusing Disney's ABC Family Channel of for changing Marvel on payments for cartoon series off Spider-Man, The Incredible Hulk and X-Men. A Disney spokesman said the company had not seen the shoot and declined to One thousand nine hundred seventy seven books and pamphlets Jan June slash BB Wikisource, the free online library, BB, BB fifty thousand four hundred sixty five, one IE old PT two by Molly Hunter, Maureen McLeary Wraith, and I born book magazine, Feb one thousand nine hundred seventy six, P thirty two to thirty eight, six Molly Hunter, twenty six Jan seventy six in notice, one thousand nine hundred seventy five, BB fifty four hundred sixty five. BB 51556. Dr. Milton Fryden thing as a free lunch minus Hillsdale Collegian. Hillsdale Colleg there as no such ver. In the B8 1977. Me. Deck 4. 1975. P628. Apple O. Daniel K. Bright 2nd. Albert L. Jordan Pound Elizabeth Bells. See Daniel K. Bright 2nd, Albert L., Jordan Phi Elizabeth Bells, 4 Deck 75, BB 51,556, BB 53,034, from the names. By H. Scott Momaday. In the American Poetry Review, Nov Slash Deck 1,976, P47, E.B. Scott Momaday, L. Deck 76, BB 53,034, BB 53,035. By and of vouchers probe, surveyor estimates mileage. By Gregory S. Beef 6 Bichard Hood. In the Kansas City Mo, Star, Deck 3, 1976, P1, etc. Apple, O, the Kansas City Star, employer for hire, E, the Kansas City Star, 3, Deck 76, BB 53035, BB 53036, Mystery at Linsla. By Lorraine Moffat, Sued, a virus 1. Schnaufer. In Capper's Yeekly, Lopika, KS, Sept 7, 1976, P19 to 20, E Iris L, Schnaufer, 7, Sept 76, BB 53036, BB 53037, Mystery at Beinsla. By Lorraine Moffat, Sud, of Iris L, Schnaufer. In Capper's Neilkly, Lopika, KS, Sept 14, 1976, P19 to 20, E Iris L, Schnaufer, 14, Sept 76, BB 53037, BB 53038, Mystery at Beinsla. By Lorraine Moffat, Sud, of Iris L, Schnaufer. 
in Capper's Aigli, Topeka, KS, Sep 21, 1907. Two Treatises of Government Slash Book 2 Wikisource, the free online library. Learn more. This work is not backed by a scanned copy of the edition from which it was transcribed. Please see this document Tastock page for details for verification. Source means a location at which other users can find a copy of this work. Ideally, this will... You fuck, you fuck, you fuck, you gangsta, gangsta, gangsta. Copy of the original that can be uploaded to Fakai Media Commons and proofread. If one is not available, please explain on the talk page. The second treatise of government. An essay concerning the true origin, extent, and end of civil government. Book 2. Chap. I the introduction edit. 1.it having been shown in the foregoing discourse. 1. Fadadamad not, either by natural right of fatherhood, or by positive donation from God, any such authority over his children, or dominion over the world, as is pretended. 2. That if he had, his heirs, yet, had no right to it. 3. That if his heirs had, there being no law of nature, nor positive law of God that determines which is the right heir in all cases that may arise, the right of succession, and consequently of bearing rule, could not have been certainly determined. 4. That if even that had been determined, yet the knowledge of which is the eldest line of Fatima's posterity, being so long since utterly lost, that in the races of mankind and families of the world, there remains not to one above another, the least pretence to be the eldest house, and to have the right of inheritance. All these premises having, as I think, been clearly made out, it is impossible that the rulers now on earth should make any benefit, or derive any the least shadow of authority from that which is held to be the fountain of all power Adam's private dominion and paternal jurisdiction, so that, he that will not give just occasion to think that all government in the world is the product only of force and violence, and that men live together by no other rules, but that of beasts, where the strongest carries it, and so lay a foundation for perpetual disorder and mischief, tumult, sedition and rebellion, things that the followers of that hypothesis so loudly cry out against, must of necessity find out another rise of government, another original of political power, and another way of designing and knowing the persons that have it than what Srobert Film hath taught us. To Dottio this purpose, I think it may not be amiss, to set down what I take to be political power, that the power of a magistrate over a subject may be distinguished, from that of a father over his children, a master over his servant, a husband over his wife, and a lord over his slave, all which distinct powers happening sometimes together in the same man, if he be considered under these different relations. It may help us to distinguish these powers one another and shew the difference betwixt a ruler of a commonwealth, a father of a family, and a captain of a galley. 3. Political power, then, I take to be a right off, making laws with penalties of death, and consequently all less penalties, for the regulating and preserving of property, and of employing the force of the community, in the execution of such laws, and in the defense of the commonwealth from foreign injury, and all this only for the public good. Chap. 2. Dot of the state of nature. Dot edit. For Dottio understand political power right, and derive it from its original, we must consider what state all men are naturally in, and that is, a state of perfect freedom to order their actions, and dispose of their possessions and persons, as they think fit, within the bounds of the law of nature, without asking leave, or depending upon the will of any other man. A state also of quality, wherein all the power and jurisdiction is reciprocal, no one having more than another, there being nothing more evident 
than that creatures of the same species and rank, promiscuously born to all the same advantages of nature, and the use of the same faculties, should also be equal one amongst another without subordination or subjection, unless the Lord and Master of them all should by any manifest declaration of his will, set one above another, and confer on him, by an evident and clear appointment, an undoubted right to dominion and sovereignty. 5. This equality of men by nature, the judicious shooker looks upon as, so evident in itself, and beyond all question, that he makes it the foundation of that obligation to mutual love amongst men, on which he builds the duties they owe one another, and from whence he derives the great maxims of justice and charity. His words are, the like natural inducement hath brought men to know that it is no less their duty to love others than themselves, for seeing those things which are equal, must needs all have one measure, if I cannot but wish to receive good, even as much at every man's hands, as any man can wish unto his own soul. How should I look to have any part of my desire herein satisfied, unless myself be careful to satisfy the like desire, which is undoubtedly in other men, being of one and the same nature? To have anything offered them repugnant to this desire, must needs in all respects grieve them as much as me, so that if I do harm, I must look to suffer, there being no reason that others should shew greater measure of love to me, than they have by me shewed unto them. My desire therefore to be loved of my, equals in nature as much as possible may be, imposeth upon me a natural duty of bearing to them ward fully the like affection, from which relation of equality between ourselves and them that are as ourselves, what several rules and canons natural reason hath drawn for direction of life. No man is ignorant ecl Paul lib. 1. 6. But though this be a state of liberty, yet it is not a state of license, though man in that state have an uncontrollable liberty to dispose of his person or possessions, yet he has not liberty to destroy himself or so much as any creature in his possession, but where some nobler use than its bare preservation calls for it. The state of Natch is a law of nature to govern it, which obliges every one, and reason, which is that law, teaches all mankind, who will but consult it, that being allequal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions, for men being all the workmanship of one omnipotent, and infinitely wise maker, all the servants of one sovereign master, sent into the world by his order, and about his business, they are his property, whose workmanship they are, made to last during his not one another's pleasure, and being furnished with like faculties, sharing all in one community of nature, there cannot be supposed any such subordination among us that may authorize us to destroy one another, as if we were made for one another's uses, as the inferior ranks of creatures are for ours every one, as he is bound to preserve himself, and not to quit his station willfully, so by the like reason, when his own preservation comes not in competition, ought he, as much as he can to preserve the rest of mankind, and may not unless it be to do justice on an offender, take away, or impair the life, or what tends to the preservation of the life, the liberty, health, limb, or goods of another. 7. And that all men may be restrained from invading others' rights, and from doing hurt to one another, and the law of nature be observed, which willeth the peace and preservation of all mankind. The execution of the law of nature is, in that state, put into every man's hands whereby every one has a right to punish the transgressors of that law to such a degree as may hinder its violation for the law of natural as all other laws that concern men in this world be in vain if there were no body that in the state of nature had a power to execute that law and thereby preserve the innocent and restrain offenders and if any one in the state of nature may punish another for any evil he has done every one may do so for in that state of perfect equality where naturally there is no superiority or jurisdiction of one over another what any may do in prosecution of that law every one must needs have a right to do eight dot and thus in the state of nature one man comes by a power over another but yet no absolute or arbitrary power to use a criminal when he has got him in his hands according to the passionate heats or boundless extravagancy of his own will but only to retribute to him so far as calm reason and conscience dictate what is proportionate to his transgression which is so much as may serve for reparation and or strain for these two are the only reasons why one man may lawfully do harm to another which is that we cal punishment in transgressing the law of nature the offender declares himself to live by another rule than that of reason and common equity which is that measure god has set to the actions of men for their mutual security and so he becomes dangerous to mankind the tie which is to secure them from injury and violence being slighted and broken by him 
which being a trespass against the whole species and the peace and safety of it provided for by the law of nature, every man upon this score, by the right he hath to preserve mankind in general, may restrain, or where it is necessary, destroy things noxious to them, and so may bring such evil on any one, who hath transgressed that law, as may make him repent the doing of it, and there. blob of jelly inside us that is the self. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a little decent.